New at noon, NASA officials are hoping to finally get the Artemis 1 rocket on the moon. After multiple scrubbed launches, they're now planning another attempt tomorrow morning. Casey Baylor spoke with a NASA Langley engineer hopeful to see this rocket take off. Anticipation grows as NASA prepares for another launch attempt of the Artemis 1 rocket. It will be really, really fun to come into work tomorrow. Um, you know, hopefully it's it's gone off and everything's gone well. Should it take off, Artemis 1's mission is expected to last for about 25 days, but it's more than just a test of the rocket. We'll also be testing out Orion in the lunar environment for the first time, making sure that when we do send crew on Artemis 2, that they will be kept safe in that environment. Emily Judd leads NASA Langley's lunar architecture team, which is looking more at the upcoming missions. Once Artemis 3 lands humans on the moon, we're looking at how do we transform the type of mission operations that Apollo did to longer term exploration. Judd says she traveled to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida for the first two launch attempts. Officials scrubbed the first one in August due to a faulty temperature sensor. Crews saw a hydrogen leak on the second attempt on September 3rd. And NASA hoped to get crews out again late September, but chose not to with Hurricane Ian rolling through. While she says it felt disappointing to see the scrub launches, she says teams did expect to see some setbacks. You have to understand that this is the very first test. This of it is the first flight of this rocket. So we're testing out a lot of new issues. NASA leaders are now on track for the launch with a two hour window opening Wednesday around 1 a.m. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Artemis 1 is an uncrewed flight. NASA officials still anticipate launching Artemis 2 in 2024. That's where they will send a crew to the moon's orbit. And 13 News Now plans to stream the launch live tonight on 13 News Now Plus with coverage starting at 1230 tomorrow morning. That's midnight, a little after midnight.